Police have arrested two people in connection with an attempted armed robbery this afternoon at a beauty school. It's the latest in a string of robberies in that area on the northeast side of Fort Wayne. News Channel 15's Aaron Rogers went to the school and talked to witnesses who were inside when it happened. Yeah, Heather, the owner told me she's been in business for 26 years and nothing like this has ever happened. Frightening, yeah, it was a frightening experience. I've never, and to see, I've never even seen a gun that big. A man walked into the chosen Christian Beauty and Barber College this afternoon in an attempted robbery. He has a gun. That's the only thing popped in my head because that's, I just saw the shiny object. Owner Dr. Teresa Link says the man demanded to have a fanny pack, the type beauticians wear to collect their money. The beautician pretended to go to the back of the business to get the money, but was actually calling police. The attempted robber apparently got tired of waiting and left. I'm thinking when I see on TV, I see a robbery. I'm thinking people are gun waving, get down, this is a stick up. He was not like that. He calmly walked in, held the gun to his side the whole time and asked for the money, and then when he didn't get it, he walked around and walked out. And when I walked up on him, he got real nervous, so that told me something wasn't too right about this robbery. This kid didn't even know what he was doing. Within 10 minutes of the attempt, Fort Wayne police caught and arrested Deshaun Boykins, 19, and Elijah Billingsley, 29, in the 3500 block of Reynolds, thanks to good information from witnesses. Both are charged with robbery. This is one of a string of robberies that we've seen in the Northeast Quadrant, but really, just as we approach the holidays, this is what we typically see. When the business was held up, there were around 17 people inside, including a two and three year old. It's very hurtful because Dr. Link, she reaches out to a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of churches, a lot of um, kids, a lot of, like I said, people, individuals, businesses. So for this to happen to us, it's, it's kind of shocking. But they're happy nobody was hurt and it wasn't any worse. Thank God for protecting us. And the owner told me she's considering putting locks or a buzzer on the door, but says even that's not a guarantee. Police say this happens more often around the holidays because people are just looking for quick access to cash. Mark? Aaron, thanks.